Hi my dear students welcome back to my class hope everyone are fine dear students this video is dedicated for all the students who are attending 2022 board examination in this video i will be discussing about the most important topics which are discussed in akashavani program for your sslc 2022 social science board examination so this video is very important. You will be knowing most important concepts as I go ahead. So without skipping the video, watch the entire video to know and to get the productivity in your examination. Firstly, I would like to tell about the question paper pattern. Your social question paper pattern is as follows. Firstly, you will be having 8 multiple choice questions and 1 mark 8 questions, 2 mark 8 questions, 3 mark, 9 questions, 4 mark, 4 questions, 5 mark, 1 question. So totally you will be having 38 questions for 80 marks. So this is all about your question paper pattern and your examination will be conducted on 6th of April. So next I would like to tell about the marks distribution. So because in Akashivani program they, they have also discussed about the marks distribution so when it comes to history so for total all the lesson which comes under history so you will be having 25 marks so moving to political science you have 11 marks for this particular uh, division sociology you'll be having 8 marks geography 22 marks economics and business studies you will be having 7 marks for each so totally 80 marks for your examination. Now I would like to say about the deleted portion. So when we look at the history part, so in history, 10th lesson, the political developments of 20th century and 5th lesson, international institution is been deleted. When we talk about sociology, 4th lesson that is social problems and geography, 8th lesson, minerals and resources. 12th lesson India population and when it comes to economics 3rd lesson money and credit 4th lesson public finance and budget business studies 3rd lesson globalization of business so these are the most important things that you want to make it as a note that you are not going to study this for your examination because these are the lessons which is not included for your examination. So, totally 8 lessons are deleted. So, keep it in mind. Now, let us. So, now if you look at the question paper, you can find some choices. So, by keeping the model paper, see, if you look at 19th question in the model question paper, it is asked from political science, which is a 2 marks question. So, here one choice is given. So, when we look at 20th question, it is from sociology. Again, it is for 2 marks. So in this question also they have given choice. 26th question is from history which is of 3 marks question. It is also having one choice. 31st question from geography which is for 3 marks. Here it is also having one choice. 32nd question from political science for 3 marks. This question is also having choice. 33rd question from business studies which is asked for 3 marks. Here also there is choice. 35th question from history. 4 mark question. Here also there is choice. So why I am saying this because you have to note down which are the different areas where you are expected to get the choices. Okay. So and most importantly dear students you want to attend any one question in the choice section. If you attend two questions also and the first question is wrong. And if the second question is right, the evaluator may not take it to the count. Sometimes this may also happen because whenever it has been asked to write the answer for choice section, you must answer for any one of the question. So choose the question which you know properly and then only attend that particular question. Okay, so you have to keep it in mind. So now the most important thing as you all are waiting. So... You wanted to know what are the important concepts 
that will be asked in each and every lesson let me now start with the history part so when we talk about lesson wise important concepts so in the history the first lesson is advent of europeans to india so here you can expect two marks one question definitely definitely it is it, they will ask one two marks question so what are the concepts you can expect here you can expect causes that resulted in the discovery of new sea route to india or you can expect the causes of the battle of plassey results of battle of plassey results of battle of buxar what was dual government who implemented that system so these are the very important concept when we talk about the lesson called the advent of europeans to india so when i talk about again lesson number 2 that is the extension of british rule here one mark questions and two marks questions will be expected you have to study about subsidiary alliance you have to study about anglo maratha wars you have to study about doctrine of lapse so these are the important concept when we talk about the extension of british rule here you can expect one marks question and also the two marks question so to make a note these are very very important concept next when we talk about third lesson from the history the impact of british rule in india here dear students three marks questions are expected okay so i tell you very important this is a definite question so the impact of british land tax system the impact of british education in india these two topics are very important from this particular lesson so they can ask any one of the topic from here okay moving to fourth lesson opposition to british rule in karnataka so here you can expect three marks questions and the four marks questions both are important and the concepts which you have to give more importance here are third anglo mysuru war role of kittooru chennamma role of sangolli rayana dondia vog that is they may ask role of dondia vog role of puttabasappa so these are the important concept from the lesson opposition to british rule in karnataka so these were frequently asked questions in the examination when we talk about fifth lesson that is social and religious reform movements so here you can expect three marks one question so the important concepts are brahma samaj arya samaj prarthana samaj ramakrishna mission so so here i would like to give one hint for you when you study above concept that is brahma samaj arya samaj prarthana samaj and ramakrishna mission so here there are few repeated points in all these things so note down all the repeated points in the above concepts so that in examination it will be not confusion for you. there will be no confusion for you because sometimes students will do like this they write the points of brahma samaj to arya samaj points of arya samaj to ramakrishna mission so this may happen in your examination so to avoid that confusion note down some of the common points okay and write in the examination to avoid the confusion okay yes so now let us talk about the next lesson that is the sixth lesson uh, the first war of indian independence so here you can expect one mcq three marks and four marks question you can expect from this particular topic so the important concepts here are list out the reasons that led to the failure of mutiny so it will be asked for four marks usually results of mutiny will be asked for three marks usually and they will also ask about the reasons okay reasons for the above concept so next you want to focus on seventh lesson when we talk about seventh lesson that is the freedom movement so here you can expect three marks and four marks questions sometimes they may also ask one mark questions but the concept which you have to uh, note it down in this particular lesson is what were the demands of moderates role of radicals role of balagangadhar tilak role of revolutionaries so all these points you have to read very carefully and answer dear students so important very important okay you can expect any one of this topic in your examination okay yes moving to eighth lesson of history era of gandhi and the national movement so here you can expect one mark questions three marks questions four mark questions also so some of the important concept here are 
list the programs of non cooperation movement explain dandi march explain quit india movement explain the farmers and the workers protest explain the role of subhash chandra bose explain the major achievements of nehru as the first prime minister of india so and also you want to focus on the role of dr b r ambedkar as social reformer so from the lesson era of gandhi so these are the very important concept that you have to focus and learn dear students so when we look at the ninth lesson post independent india so here usually two marks questions will be asked okay so some of the important concept or the frequently asked concepts here are how did the nation face refugee problem so learn about pondicherry goa and junagadh so these concepts are given in this lesson so don't forget to learn these concepts okay yes so this is all about history so now i would like to discuss about the political science so when we talk about political science the first lesson here is the problems of india and their solutions dear students here you can expect 3 marks and 4 marks questions from this particular lesson and the important concepts here are what are the measures taken by government to improve the status of women what are the measures that is needed for the eradication of unemployment very important here it will be asked for 4 marks what are the effects of terrorism what are the measures needed for eradication of corruption what are the effects of corruption so these concepts will be usually asked from this lesson called the problems of india and their solution so very important you want to understand and you want to learn whatever the concept which are been discussed now okay so moving to second lesson from the political science indian foreign policy here usually one mark and two marks questions will be asked and the important concepts here are how does the foreign policy aid a country in its development what are the aims of indian foreign policy what are the principles of panchashila tatva why does india advocate disarmament as the need of revolt discuss so these are some of the important questions which will be asked from indian foreign policy for two marks moving to third lesson of uh, political science india's relation with other countries usually you will get three marks question one question will be asked for three marks for 100% okay so what are the important concept which you have to study here see you have to focus on what is the relation between india and pakistan india and russia india and usa so these are important concept because frequently these concepts will be asked in the examination there are few more what is the relation between india and china and all but those students who are feeling very difficult must at least learn these concepts moving to fourth lesson of political science that is global problems and india's role so here usually you can expect one mark mcq and two marks one question you can expect so here the concepts which you have to focus is declaration of human rights what were the major problems that emerged after the world war second and explain the struggle led by india for the implementation of the human rights so these are the very important concept that you have to focus from this particular lesson dear students so in this video i have explained only about the history and political science so in next video that is in the part 2 i'll explain about sociology geography economics as well as the business studies i hope you found this video useful if you find this video useful kindly share with your friends because your friends might be struggling to read the entire concept which are present in social so this will be helpful for many of the students who are struggling to study the entire concept for the board examination i hope you found this video useful if you find this video useful kindly like share and subscribe to my channel and let's meet in the part 2